So is News Corp's bid to take full control of B Sky B likely to go ahead? Well, to talk us through some of the hurdles it faces, I'm joined by Simon Holmes. He's head of EU and competition law at SJ Bruin. Simon, thank you so much for, for coming in. Now, it's a fascinating story also because, it, you know, it's a family business trying to grow and you have a son and father really at helm of these two companies. Competition-wise, you know, how likely is it that this can go ahead? Well, I reckon at the end of the day it probably will go ahead, but it faces a couple of uh, regulatory hurdles en route. First, it's got to get cleared probably by the European Commission on competition grounds. Secondly, there's the question of whether or not the UK decides to look at it on the basis of the plurality of the media rules. But in terms of what the Commission is looking at, I mean, they look at you know, these kind of cases a lot, and yep. some, sometimes they say that they have to sell off assets. I mean, is there anything like this at this time? Or are these businesses really overlapping in a kind of you know, competitive way? This will go through a regular review by the European Commission. On the face of it, that shouldn't be the major hurdle here. Other things being equal, one would expect the European, Co to, European Commission to clear it. The big question here is, or two, two questions. One is whether or not the UK asks to look at it in addition to that on the basis of its plurality of the media rules, and secondly, whether the UK decides to look at the competition uh, rules at the same time by asking the European Commission to refer it back to the Office of Fair Trading. It's the first of those, though, the plurality of the media rules, which That's is by tougher. far the most important. I reckon it's tougher here, yeah, because in principle the competition issues uh, don't appear to be significant. The so what are the chances that they, they will actually have a look at it here in the UK? I reckon they will. I reckon they will, and I think they should. There is a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure on the government to intervene with what we call an intervention notice, uh, asking or indicating to the Commission that it's going to look at it on plurality. We've seen uh, opposition from the BBC and many of the uh, newspaper proprietors saying that it ought to be looked at. It's, I mean, it's tricky because, of course, the critics say, you know, the government needs to look into this just because otherwise it's an unfair advantage. But the government probably doesn't want to get News Corp on their bad side because it means a, a direct impact on what voters decide at the next election. I mean, how do you deal sure. with those two? You know, it's sure, it's a sensitive issue for any government. It would have been a sensitive gift, uh, issue for the Labour government. It's a sensitive issue for the coalition. But politically, there is a, a sense that what they can do is, is they don't. They will, although they will make the decision whether to intervene, mm -hmm. what they will do is refer it to the relevant technical authorities, and that seems to me to be politically the safest thing to do. Because what they'll be saying is, no, we are intervening. We're not. We're not blocking it. We're asking for it to be looked at closely. Just asking the questions. By the competent authorities, yeah. Ofcom and potentially the Competition Commission. Simon, thank you so much, Simon Holmes. And I know the story won't go away because these things take time, so we'll get you back on when we have more news on that.